This is the Pokemon game that you have always wanted. Okay, okay, you just gotta hear me out here, okay? <laughs> now listen, think of something, think of anything that you have always wanted in a Pokemon game. Do it right now, I'll give you a second. Okay, 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 you, you probably have some good ideas, alright? Alright, I see you, I see you. Now listen, what if I told you that there's a game out there where your ideas are either implemented into the game, or at least can be implemented into the game? But there is a catch. In fact, this catch is the leading factor to making this one of the most interesting Pokemon games of all time. Now, I'm gonna do my absolute best to keep this short, but this is Pokemon Potassium. So, this fan game is designed by you. It's designed by you and everybody. Anybody who wants to design this game can design this game. I'm the one who develops it, but my stream chat and my Discord server are the ones who actually makes the game front to back. I'm just the one who actually develops it. Now, when I say everybody can make this game, I genuinely mean it. All the Pokemon, all the Fakemon, and all the maps, and all the characters, everything is designed by you guys. Now, I know what you're probably thinking right now. You're probably like, damn, this looks great. <laughs> and that's because I've noticed there's so many people with talent out there that don't have, I guess, the full dedication or the time to make a whole entire project of their own front to back. And this really gives people a chance to come in and use their talent for something big. Maybe make one, two, five things. Maybe, fuck, they might make a ton of different shit without actually dropping years and years of their life on a project of their own. Some people come in here and all they make is just, you know, they just want an NPC that says something. Or they want their initial carved into the ground. And then some other people come in here and... They don't have as much art skill as a lot of uh, as a lot of my other people do, but they really want one of their Fakemon to be in the game, so they send an idea, and then one of our talented guys takes it and turns it into something awesome. Some people just come in and they just tune into chat and throw in ideas while I ask for them, like while I'm mapping, I'm like, hey, what do you guys want in this town? What do you guys want in this route? And they're like, oh, throw this in there, throw that in there, make a statue, you know, those types of things. The point in all this is that I don't want anybody to think that they don't have the talent or they don't have the skill to be a part of this literally any of you can be a part of this no matter what it may be there's very few rules i mean just don't disrupt the game balance because we're trying to keep the game balanced and also just make sure that you follow youtube tos rules when you add shit to the game and yeah i mean you can uh, this is a project for everybody man so i'm very much aware that this video is going to bring a lot of traffic to the stream into the discord so i know a lot of you guys aren't really caught up on what we've done yet so that's what i'm going to do here in this video i'm actually going to catch you guys up on what we've made so far so here is the starting town it's called bongoy town yeah it's a weird name i know it's what chat came up with i mean so the professor is professor jump scare he's one of our chatters that we voted to be the professor he jump scares you when you meet him, takes you to his lab to order a Pokemon from a knockoff McDonald's inside of his lab. Between the options, Burpider, Fryer, and Whip Splash. After the player orders their starters, the rival comes out and uh, the rival comes out of the professor's basement. And since the rival does not have a name, the player gets to name the rival. And then the rival just runs away, and Professor Jump Scares like, "Hey, you're not supposed to name them because <laughs> I don't know. This is what Chat wanted, okay?" So, you gotta go find the rival, take him back, and then convince the professor to let the rival go out on a journey with you. And the, the professor jump scares like, okay, sure, but you, you gotta take on the ground type Pokemon that have been harassing this town. So, then the protagonists make their way through Route 1 and into Craggle Cave, where a Doug Wio, a Doug Trio evolution that was designed by Dekachad, is attacking the rival. And then a strange man appears through the darkness, takes the Doug Wio, and just runs off. And this mysterious man is actually going to be the gym leader for the first gym. So then the player goes back to the lab and is like, Hey, we took down that ground type Pokemon. Totally not lying. <laughs> and gets a Pokedex, Pokeballs, all that good stuff. And then the player's basically off on their own. A Cocker... <laughs> Banerica. Yeah, that's the region name that they came up with. Here, I'll actually throw the design of the region up on here. It has nothing to do with bananas, but... Here's the flag, <laughs> Banerica is what we came up with, and yeah, yeah, we, we have a pledge, we have a pledge. One hand on your chest, over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of Banerica. Into the potassium, which stands one nation. Under the bananas, 
to the trees with bananas and liberty for all. <laughs> now give me a second here. How many channels do you think that you have subscribed to on YouTube? And the reason I'm asking is because do me a favor. Close your eyes right now. Close them. Ah. See if you can memorize where that subscribe button is and see if you can hit it, whether it's with your mouse or your finger on a phone. I want to see if you can... Just see if you can m remember where it's at. And YouTube says over 90% of you that watch me are not subscribed. So if you really do enjoy what you see here, I'd much appreciate it. But it's always your choice. Anyways. <coughs> Jeez, I almost just died. The player then makes their way through Route 2 past a gas station and a pink tree. I, I don't know why chat wanted a gas station and a pink tree. But they wanted it, so I added it. And now here's one of the coolest maps I think I've ever made in my entire life. This city is called Grandstone City, and oh my god, is it just beautiful for that Gen 3 art style. You got a Doug Wheo statue on top of the gym, and then this is my most... <clears throat> this is my... I'm having trouble here, okay? This is my most proud gym puzzle I've ever done before. So, you go in here... And it, it's an altered tile set of Brock's gym, so it's not like the same tile set. Like, it's altered, it looks unique. And you have to dodge Diglett, and you go down these floors, and it gets darker as you go down the floors, and there's more Diglett, more obstacles. This is like one of the coolest puzzles I think I've ever made before. It's so sick, and it's honestly a lot of fun to play. Shout out to everybody that came up with this idea, because this was a lot of fun to make and a lot of fun to design. Now, that's it for how far we've gotten into the actual main game, but we do have a document with, like, all the story and stuff like that. We, we have a Google document with everything that we need to add that people wanted to put in for the future. So, what I'm going to get into now is actually the Fakemon for this game. So I, you saw the starters, and we've designed the evolutions for the grass starter, and we've designed two, uh, one evolution for the fire and one evolution for the water. So we're going to start off with the starters. We got Burpider evolves into Vegwar, which evolves into Burfly. So that's the grass starter. Then we got Fryer evolves into Frange. We have Concept for the, third, uh, for the third evolution, but we don't have it done yet. Then we have Whip Splash, and then it evolves into Split Cup. Definitely a cool design. Um, and then uh, here's the regional rodent. We got Whiskrat, and it's gonna have one evolution. It's a normal type. It's gonna evolve into a normal poison type. And then this is arguably one of my favorites right here. We got Curdle and Cordis. This is the corn and the cornbread Pokemon. It's so cool. I fucking love it. And then the regional bird is Kiwiki. Uh, I really like this one too. Uh, I can't wait to see what its evolutions look like. Then we got we got Pog. <laughs> We got Pog and no name for the second evolution on this one, but it's a pig in a blanket. That's basically what it is. Then Kitten Doe, the Cookie Cat, Pillbug, Crimido, which is the donut Pokemon. It's a dark type. Th this one's really cool. I really like how this one turned out. Then we got the Pillbug's evolutions. Like, uh, so we got a gummy bear kind of there. And then Esker Ring, kind of like the Onion Ring or the Pretzel. I don't really know what it is. I need to ask Cheka Chad what that is. And then you've seen Doug Wheo already. Then we got the ramen Pokemon. This was designed by Gazer and Dekachad. Yeah, you've seen this one earlier in the video. This one is one of my favorites too. It's fucking awesome, man. And yeah, that's all the Fakemon we have designed now. We just have a bunch of concept other than these guys. So yeah, that is Pokemon Potassium. And honestly, this is this is one of I think one of the coolest ideas I think I've ever came up with. I've just noticed there's so many people with talent out there that make fan games and make stuff like this but they never like take it all the way so this is something i wanted to do because i've been making fan games for years now i'm 17 years old and it's one of my biggest passions and i thought dang well wouldn't it be awesome to like share this with the pokemon community like share this and have everybody come and be involved like everybody i really do think this can go big i just need a little bit of luck and i need a little bit of uh of a little bit of dedication from not only me, but also from, from you guys. If you want to be a part of this, all you got to do is tune in to stream or join the Discord server. I got the Discord server link below. I stream on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. EST. I might move that down to 6 at some point. I'm not really too sure on that. But like always, not really good at outros. Just like Chris. So I'm just gonna just going to do this. Subscribe.